After completing his high school senior season and helping capture the California State Football Championship, it is time to send Rodney Rambo off to college to continue his next four years on his football journey. Welcome back to the Rodney Rambo Road to Glory, everybody. It's decision time, signing day. Where will Rodney Rambo be attending school and playing his college football? He has earned quite a few scholarship offers, including one from the University of Alabama, but I've already talked about keeping him on the West Coast and in the Pac-12 Conference. From there, it's been all about finding the right offensive scheme fit for Rodney Rambo, and I've been very intrigued by the spread offenses because it's something new to me and something I am not very used to, and so I wanted to try something new, and from there I narrowed it down to Arizona and Arizona State, where I left it to you guys to vote on where Rodney Rambo would go to school, as I would be content with either one of these two teams. And so the final decision was made, and Rodney Rambo's attending Arizona State to become a member of the Sun Devils and help carry them to the top of the Pac-12 Conference. He'll enter as the fourth string running back on the depth chart, which means the snaps he'll get in practice and the few he might get in games will be very critical to helping climb the depth chart and hopefully into the starting role before too long. And here are his starting attributes, 86 speed, 82 acceleration with 82 agility, some work to do there, but 85 elusiveness and 84 juke, that's a good foundation to help build from, as Rodney Rambo will be an elusive focus running back as you guys know. And here is his competition on the Arizona State roster, he is behind three running backs, but it looks like it might not be too long before he can start challenging some of them, and he'll also be given the punt return and kick return duties right off the bat to begin his college career, which will be very very exciting and now here is the conference outlook as Arizona State is expected to be a strong team and hopefully Rodney Rambo can help them be a strong team. Well let's jump into the first practice at the looks like a spark training facility I believe as we see the first few practice snaps for Rodney Rambo in the Arizona State uniform and I swear I picked number 20 but for some reason the new freshman was handed number 30 anyway, not sure what happened there, but we're seeing Rambo get his first few snaps in the game, and I'm liking his Arizona State playbook first off, I want to say that. I wanted to play the spread team that wanted to mix it up a little bit, I'm very used to pro style offenses, and I just wanted to try something new, something that might give me some different opportunities in the running game, as well as a pass catcher out of the backfield. My hope is that he gets a lot of passes thrown his way and that that can become a major part of this series and it's not just going to be about returning and running the football because I've always wanted to have a running back that can do it all. He can catch, he can block, run, return, you name it. And so that's my hope with Rodney Rambo. The focus off the bat will be increasing his elusiveness ratings as well as speed and acceleration. And Juke move is already off to a good start, but speed and acceleration are really lacking and that's going to make it really hard for him to bounce runs outside or to get long returns. And so we're seeing the skill upgrades available now going through all the different upgrade packages. And I come across one that focuses on elusiveness, the Juke move, a little bit for almost every elusive rating. There's also one for speed and acceleration. That was the first one I did because... I think that's going to be very important, especially being a fourth string running back and having to make your yards in the return game right off the bat, and so that's why it shows that. But I knew I could still get the 4K necessary for the other elusive package. And in these first two practices, we're seeing a lot of passes thrown Rambo's way, mainly on screens, and we're seeing a little bit of the elusiveness, a little appetizer of what's to come in this series. But we know Rambo will begin fourth string on the depth chart as we do get the 4K necessary, just barely. And so there we'll get the Mr. Mr. Package to upgrade elusiveness, finesse moves, juke, and spin. It also increases his overall to an 81, but the overall is not what matters. It's about the position battles and the coach trust, which we're seeing right now. He's already maxed out on the third string score, and so it looks like he'll have a position battle after the Week 2 game when he plays his first actual college game against an FCS team where he might get a chance to actually get some snaps in at running back, perhaps. Not sure because he's a fourth string running back, but if we get a big lead, he could see some time later in the game, but most definitely as a returner at least to begin his career. And so thanks for watching, guys. Rodney Rambo is an Arizona State Sun Devil. The live commentary videos will return following the conclusion of this video, and so leave your feedback below in the comment section on the decision for Arizona State. I let you guys vote on Twitter and my, in my stream yesterday that I did. I know I didn't make a video about it. But we will begin Rodney Rambo's college football journey next in week two against the FCS West, whatever they are. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you then.